All right, Coach Del Negro has said you're one of the best, if not the best, big man coaches in the league right now. He's really grateful to have you. How do you take your playing experience and translate it to coaching? Well, you know, if you're, you're trying to make the league, and I didn't make it until I was cut four times, um, you know, you become more and more of a student of what I need to correct to get there, whether it's to get stronger or to be mentally stronger or to learn better skills. And I think that desire has uh, carried over. I always wanted to help players when I went back to the University of Virginia. I always wanted to help them uh, learn and, and have fun while I was training with them. And then I took that over to my uh, ability or my opportunity to, to work at Pete Newell's big man camps. In the, uh, in the 90s, I attended a couple of them in the 80s, and Pete Newell's a Hall of Fame coach, great teacher, and taught me a lot about how to, how to also teach. And so uh, I just have a lot of fun trying to become a better teacher and then hopefully uh, you know, use that to help my, my students become better uh, students of the game. Having that playing experience and all that experience under your belt, how does that help you earn the respect of the guys that you're working with? Well, I mean, they think I know I've kind of been in some wars and broken some bones and, and, and have had uh, ups and downs in my career and have been in lucky places and unlucky places and that it's all a process and it's all, you know, a struggle sometimes, but that you never forget that uh, it's how do you handle struggles, how do you handle adversity, and then how do you handle success as well. What is the, the biggest difference you see between the way the coaching works now and when you were in the league? Well, it's become more specialized. I think you know, my uh, being a big man coach it was my entree into the league and working with guys like Sejuna Silgauskas and Vitali Potapic going Cleveland or Brian Grant and Alonzo Mourning in Miami. You can see definitely that they're all professionals. You know, we've got professionals here, but um, you know, to answer your question, I just think it's become you know more intense in terms of scouting. Uh, we rely more on video. Um, and you know, defenses have evolved, have evolved and, and because of that, offenses have to evolve. If there's one point that you could drive home to the guys that you're working with that, that you wish somebody would have told you when you were playing, what would that be? Um, try, to put, uh, try to put the ego aside so it doesn't get in the way of learning and, and uh, understanding the game. And you know, it's, it, it, being competitive is very, very important, but you need a balance of not only being competitive and using your ego to, to, to drive you, but also wanting to master skills. And you know, can I make my shot better? Can I make my, my defense better? Can I make my counters better? Um, and then you know, the, pur the purity of the game enters into it and you, and you leave behind all the other stuff that gets in the way of success. Thanks, Coach. Right. With Mark Ivoroni and Madeline Burke for LAC TV. For more on the Clippers, check out clippers.com. And for ticket information, call 866 4Clippers.